Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm gonna show you how to use the tween class uh, some tween events and few tween methods like start, stop, resume, rewind, fast forward. In fact before I um, take you deeper inside the act script I would first like to show you a published preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard so it goes control enter to export the swift uh, and test the movie we always call it a movie whether it's a movie or, or not okay people first of all this is not a clock it's a timer the pendulum is just there for the uh, teaching purpose just for, to give you an example if it were a clock then it would uh, automatically uh, align itself to the current time which it actually doesn't it always starts from the uh, 12 you know all the three needles the minute needle the seconds needle the hour needle all of them are first you know up front they are placed at 12 and then they move in a relationship which is like this the second needle is um, 60 times um, faster than the minutes needle which is 12 times faster than the R needle okay so keeping that relationship in mind uh, this timer has been designed so strictly speaking since it starts from 12 from the word go it's not a clock although the pendulum as I said is just to uh, show you the tween methods the tween events and make you understand the tween class now the tween class let me tell you uh, most most people think tween you, you do tweening you know just to go from one point to the other from one position to the other just to tween the x or the y axis no it isn't so you can tween the x uh, property of an object you can tween the y you can tween scale x you can tween scale y um, you can tween the width you can tween the height the word tween means in between right so from uh, one point to the other and here in this example what I've done is I've used the rotation tween we can do the alpha tween too right so what I've done is I've applied the uh, rotation tween to the three needles keeping in relationship which is that the minute needles a needle moves 60 times faster than the R needle which in turn moves 12 times faster than the uh, sorry the seconds needle moves uh, 60 times faster than the minute needle which is 12 times faster than the R needle so you should you should have that relationship very clear in your mind right only then can you uh, have the logic ready to create such a timer okay now as I said the tween class has a uh, certain methods the start the stop the resume the rewind and the fast forward method let me show them to you one by one we'll dive inside the actions panel a little later first let's see uh, the publish preview so let me hit the stop button okay the moment I hit the stop button people uh, you see a label which uh, goes diagonally across the uh, timer and says stopped uh, all the needles freeze including the pendulum right and if I resume it will resume from the same position in which it froze right and let me say stop again but this time if I say start now it resumes but it doesn't resume from the position it left off from but it, it, it goes back to home it goes back to square one so all the needles are reset to 12 and then it uh, starts playing all over again so that's the difference between the resume method of the tween class and the start method of the tween class stop uh, will just freeze everything all right uh, let's look at the rewind and the fast forward methods too so let me hit the rewind button okay you can see all the needles are reset back to square one which is 12 and the pendulum is uh, also rewinded okay let me hit the fast forward button in a clock you see the starting and the ending point is just the same which is 12 but for the pendulum it is not so it goes to the other side so that's a rewind that's a fast forward that's a rewind that's a fast forward so with the tween class we have start stop resume uh, rewind and fast forward uh, method we also have the yo yo method as you can see that the clock uh, pendulum is in a yo-yo when we dive inside the actions panel I'll show you how that yo-yo or that to and fro motion back and forth uh, fourth motion can be uh, achieved right so let me close the publish preview 
and let me uh, explain the timeline uh, the layers and what is inside the library like most of my tutorials people this even this tutorial I'm not gonna reconstruct because I actually do a lot of hard work uh, you know up front and it's very difficult to destroy and you know make it from scratch maybe I'm a little lazy uh, maybe I'm guilty on that front maybe uh, but most of my projects are actually lengthy and uh, you know uh, so I, I really don't have this time and the inclination to do everything from scratch but I assume that you have a basic understanding of Flash and Action Script 3 and uh, you should be able to understand exactly what I've done right in case you are a beginner I don't know whether you'll actually understand what I'm doing out here anyway so people what I'm gonna do is uh, let me just hide uh, the different layers one by one so this is the action script 3 layer obviously contains the action script so I'm gonna achieve nothing if I'm gonna hide it but the next layer is the stop layer which just carries the stopped uh, label now this stop label people is nothing but uh, TLF text that I've uh, you know through the uh, free transform tool rotated it a little bit right so just carries the uh, text stop that I typed in the color red at point size 18 font of Brima which has uh, I've embedded using the embed button okay and uh, I've applied a little leading and tracking for the word spacing and the letter spacing this is what it actually does right <sighs> cool <coughs> so that's uh, so the, the the layer stopped is nothing but uh, a text field and it has an instance name of sign right okay let me uh, lock the layer up so that I don't accidentally move it the next layer is the buttons layer which carries one two three four five buttons which have different instance names and different labels you can just pull out a button from the buttons component which is out here pull out a button drag and pull it out and then you can give a label going out here just type the label that you would want for the button so I type different labels for different buttons right and give them different instance name the first uh, button has an instance name of start btn uh, this has an instance name of uh, stop btn this is uh, resume btn people this is rewind btn and this is fast forward btn right so let me lock the buttons layer 2 right now the next layer is the pendulum layer if I uh, hide it for you you can actually see this brown colored pendulum hide itself okay so it's nothing but a movie clip if I unlock the layer click on the pendulum beg your pardon uh, you can see that it's a movie clip has an instance name of pendulum now how to draw a pendulum how to convert it to a movie clip you know going from a shape to a movie clip again this is something that I'm assuming that you already know if you don't then uh, you should go back to some basic tutorials in flash and action clip 3 and come back to this tutorial right so let me log this layer up too and uh, let me hide the needles layer. now the needles layer is a set of three needles people uh, the seconds needle the minute needle and the R needle all right they're placed on top of each other they have a reg registration point here bottom center right so bottom center cool and the bottommost layer is the body of the clock uh, you see when I hide it uh, the body of the clock actually hides has an instance name of uh, if I click on the clock you can see it has an instance name of clock itself right so uh, this is uh, the different layers that we have I've explained all the layers to you except the action script 3 layer which I'll do so in the end let me uh, dig inside the library too just to show you what's inside the library this was the bitmap image of the clock that I later on converted to a symbol okay so that bitmap of the body of the clock was actually converted to a movie clip right these are the different button components people that I've used out here these five buttons is actually uh, are uh, actually instances of the button component that are pulled up from the buttons component and gave them different labels uh, this is the embedded font people I've embedded the Abrima font so if I right click go to properties and uh, you can actually see that uh, uppercase and lowercase uh, glyphs or characters have been embedded I don't need to embed the numerals and the punctuations nor should I say all okay so estimated glyphs or characters uh, embedded 53 cool 
Uh, this is the uh, needle has a registration point here at the bottom center. Minute needle bottom center registration point, different color, little longer. Okay, uh, the height is a little more than the R needle. This is the pendulum people, and this is the second needle. Again, the registration point is bottom center. For the pendulum, the registration point here is the top center, not the bottom center. Okay, and this again is the body of the clock. Right. So that's all as far as the uh, components, uh, the library components are concerned. Cool. Right. So people, uh, I've explained the timeline, I've explained what exactly is there inside the library. Now all that I need to do is explain uh, how the action script was written. So I'll right click on the actions uh, layer or the frame and open up the actions panel for you. Let me run down and you can see that around 55 lines with a few blank lines out here and there. Okay, so not too big a script actually, right. People out here in the first four lines have imported the requisite uh, classes. So the easings, different easings, the, the twin class, the twin events, the mouse events that we're going to use out here have been imported. All right. So as I told you earlier that uh, the tween class uh, does not only allow you to tween an object from one point to the other. Uh, you can tween the X and the Y as well as the scale X, scale Y, the width and the height, uh, the alpha as well as the rotation. Now here I'm actually tweening. The, uh, the needles through the rotation property okay cool so as always I'm creating an instance of the tween class how do you do it this is the way you do it so you declare a variable give it a name so second tween of the type tween is equal to a new tween then you pass in certain arguments the first argument is the uh, object that you need to tween second refers to the uh, instance name of the second needle okay I would want the second ne needle to the rotation property to have no ease uh, okay there are many types of easings you have strong regular back bounds ease etc none is also one of them I don't want any easing to be applied to it at all and I want would want it to rotate from a zero degrees to a 360 degrees you never put the degrees out here just put the number in 60 seconds 62 means 60 seconds 64 means 60 frames so I'm, I'm saying I would want the seconds needle to go from zero degrees to 360 basically do a full complete circle in 60 seconds right similarly I have uh, created another instance of the tween class so variable minute tween of the type tween is equal to a new tween I would want the object of the movie clip minute minute is uh, referring to the minutes needle okay the uh, other needle the, uh, the second needle is the minutes needle through the rotation property without having any ease to go from 0 to 360 degrees but we told you that these uh, the, you know the minute needle is 60 times slower than the uh, seconds needle so it will take 60 times more time so instead of 60 seconds I'm saying 60 into 60 seconds since it takes 60 times it's 60 times slower so obviously it's gonna take 60 times more time to uh, cover the same 360 degrees or one complete circle right similarly the for the R needle I'm declaring another variable R tween data typing it to tween is equal to a new tween so I'm I would want the R needle which has an instance name of R through the rotation property to have no ease at all but to cover 360 degrees so from 0 degrees to 360 degrees over 16 to 16 to 12 because 16 to 60 is the time it takes for this uh, minute needle but into 12 because the R needle is 12 times slower than the uh, minute needle right so the relationship is that the seconds needle is uh, the fastest the minute needle is 60 times slower the R needle is 12 times slower than the minute needle so I know the relationship that is why it is 60 out here 16 to 60 out here and 16 to 16 to 12 out here so that it's gonna take more time to cover 360 degrees right true means uh, seconds false means frames I'm not working with frames I'm working with seconds so to uh, you know so putting a true out here at the same time for the pendulum I'm saying uh, for the pendulum uh, I, I would want through the rotation property it to have a regular ease right a regular ease out which means it will slow down towards the end and to uh, toggle between plus and minus 20 degrees so that just goes a little bit on the left and a little bit on the right okay over one second and one two means one second right so basically this will set you know all the three needles into motion every you know all the needles will do a 360 degrees and stop so all the three needles second minute and R needle will do a 360 degrees and stop uh, and I restart when they stop and how do I do it we'll, we'll talk about it a little later in the action script okay uh, similarly I have uh, created a variable 
pendulum tween data type to tween made it equal to a new tween okay I, I already discussed this okay next people what I've done is I'm, I'm using the um, tween events uh, the motion finish event and the uh, motion change event let's discuss them I've added event listeners to the second tween minute tween hour tween if you notice the variable names out here are uh, second tween minute tween and hour tween so I've added event listeners to the three tweens and then um, there is a motion finish event well now what that does is when the motion stops so basically when all the three needles do a complete 360 degrees the motion is uh, finished the motion has finished so in such a scenario uh, we have a tween event motion finish which then fires another uh, function which I've called on finish so when the motion or when the 360 degrees actually are over I would want a on finish function to fire through a tween event uh, called uh, motion finish motion underscore finish all right so when all the three needles stop even the pendulum stops for the pendulum I have on pendulum finish uh, function to fire through the motion finish uh, tween event right at the same time I've added an event listener to the tween event again but this time uh, the uh, you know the tween event cap you know uh, used out here is motion change now motion change means in motion in action as long as uh, it's working as long as it's swinging all right uh, the motion change uh, is triggered as long as uh, the pendulum is in motion or as long as the object is in motion or it's moving swinging to and for fro right so let's discuss the on finish on uh, pendulum finish and on, on pendulum working uh, functions so the function on finish says that event dot target dot start basically it's referring to the uh, target of the event which is the minute needle the seconds needle or the R needle so when they stop after 360 degrees I would want it to restart okay on pendulum finish I would want the pendulum tween to yo yo so through the yo yo method it's going to and fro okay on pendulum working fires when the motion is in action through the motion change to an event I would want the alpha of the clock to be set at one full opacity and the sign which is the label which has stopped in red color to have an alpha of zero basically go invisible right so these are the few uh, tween events that I've used out here okay let's go down <sighs> okay <laughs> I got a little breathless right so let's discuss the uh, <coughs> tween methods out here <coughs> excuse me I've uh, used the uh, I've added event listeners to all the five buttons the stop button start button resume button rewind button and the uh, God, <laughs> I'm really sorry. The Skype was act. My Skype was active, and the you know the messages were flowing in. Never mind. Okay, so I've added event listeners to the stop, the start, the resume, the rewind, and the fast forward buttons. And uh, the event is a mouse event of specifically of the type click. I would want when somebody clicks on these different buttons, functions called stop handler, start handler, uh, resume handler, rewind handler. Uh, fast forward handler to fire and let's check out what exactly they do when somebody clicks the stop button I would want the second tween the minute tween the R tween the pendulum tween all to stop using the stop methods to so stop parent parent semicolon mm -hmm. they'll stop the swinging uh, or, or the uh, motion basically of the needles the three needles so I'm telling all the needles to stop through the stop method at the same time I would, I would want the alpha of the clock to drop by 50 percent and the sign basically the red diagonal message to display so let me hit control enter to show you what I mean so now uh, you can see uh, when I hit the stop button the alpha of the clock reduces and the stop message which is which has an instance name of sign uh, shows through cool and when somebody clicks the uh, start button through the start method I'm starting the second tween minute tween or tween and the pendulum tween so all of them come back into action when somebody clicks the resume button uh, through the resume method uh, I'm uh, starting the second tween the minute tween the R tween but resume method uh, resumes from the position it was frozen the start method starts it from the very beginning okay right if somebody clicks the rewind button all the needles are reset back to the original uh, starting position when somebody clicks the fast forward button through the fast forward method uh, they are now thrown ahead and pushed to the ending position right 
So the rewind is these, you know, all the needles are reset to the rewind, ex including the pendulum uh, as well. Okay. So these are different twin methods, people. The, um, you see, the, the stop method, the start method, the uh, resume method, the rewind method, and the fast forward method. And we have already seen uh, how to yo-yo, to use the yo-yo method for the pendulum, right? So people, I know I have not done enough justice to the script. I have just breezed through them, uh, you know. But as I said, uh, I make tutorials for people usually who already know Flash and Action Script quite a lot and uh, just need a little bit of uh, uh, clarity and uh, sh just want to teach them how to use the different tools. Um, most of them are not exactly meant for beginners. So I, I know that uh, I don't build my uh, tutorials from the bottom up, right? So uh, at the same time, people, the script, uh, the flower file, in fact, is available as a free download from my website, http forward slash forward slash forward lessons dot net forward slash downloads uh, one, number one, right? Uh, people, uh, before I wind uh, terminate this tutorial, let me show you the published preview once again. That's a stop, that's a start again, that's a stop, that's a resume, that's a stop, that's a rewind, that's a forward, that's a rewind, that's a forward. People don't stop watching my tutorials. More will come in future. I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, I hope to see you very soon once again. You have a good day guys. Bye-bye. Peace.